I just want to point out that none of this happened till y'all started drinking them seltzer beers. Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial. Today we're doing something very special. With the world on lockdown, the importance of streaming music and sharing music via video conferencing software has become more important than ever to musicians and music teachers across the globe. Now, sometimes sharing audio out of your DAW is not exactly straightforward, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get audio from your DAW into your screen recording program, and then from your screen recording program into a video conferencing program like Zoom or Skype or Hangouts. And I'll also show you a bonus tip of how to get your screen recording program to function as your webcam in those video conferencing apps. So in order to do that, we're going to need some software. And fortunately, everything except for your DAW uh, in this solution is totally free. So let's take a look at what we're going to use. And I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. Okay, the first plugin we're going to use is a VST plugin that's um, from the Reaper company, Kakos, and it's from their RIA plugs pack. Uh, it's available for download. You'll want to download the 64-bit versions if you're using Cubase like me because Cubase no longer hosts 32-bit plugins. And the one we'll be using is this plugin right here. It's called RIA Stream. This will just go as a plugin on your stereo out or mix bus. And as you can see, it supports streaming of audio from host to host, audio or MIDI. So not only could you uh, use this to run into the screen recording software I'm going to recommend because it's a VST host, which is OBS Studio, but you could also set up RIA Stream and stream the audio from Cubase into a different DAW like Reaper or Studio One or something like that. The next piece of software you'll need is OBS Studio. This is one of the best screen recorders on the market and it's totally free. I don't know how they do it, but it's fully featured. It's amazing. Um, it's the best screen recorder I think you can have on Windows. Now, in order to get the audio out of OBS and into our video conferencing program, we're going to use the VB Cable virtual audio device. And you can find that at vbaudio.com slash cable. Now this just sort of creates extra internal uh, inputs and outputs for audio. Now I'll have to warn you, when I installed this one, it made the VB cable my default audio interface. And I had to go back to my control panel and switch all of my inputs, uh, my playback and recording, the default device to my main interface. And the final one we're going to use is OBS Virtual Cam. This is a plugin for OBS. And what it does is it allows video conferencing programs to see your OBS, your screen capture software, as your webcam. So you can just select it from a drop-down list. And so these are the four that you'll be using. If you want to take a time to pause the video and install these, um, now is the time. But uh, let's jump into Cubase and I'll show you how to set up Cubase audio into OBS. Let's do that right now. Okay, so we're here in Cubase. I have a project template loaded up. And I'll pull up the uh, mix console here. So there's two schools of thought with where you can put RIA stream. You can either put it on your stereo out or you can put it on your mix bus. I like to put mine on the mix bus because that way the crowd that's listening to you does not hear the metronome. But for the purposes of this, uh, tutorial, I will put it on stereo out. I'll put it typically behind the brick wall limiter so you don't get any clipping on the signal that's sent to OBS. And you may ask, why do we have to do this? Well, it's because OBS out of the box will look something like this. Uh, let me move it to the other side so you can see. Uh, I have my microphone audio. It recognizes my audio interface. But desktop audio does not sound when I play an instrument. So we can take a look here at uh, the fader and Cubase, but I'll be quiet while I'm playing and you'll see that the desktop audio will not play while I play this keyboard and you won't be able to hear the keyboard. So that's an issue. Uh, you can't hear the sound coming out of Cubase and the solution to this is RIA stream. So what I'm going to do is put it behind the brick wall limiter on my master bus. So we'll open this up, we'll look for RIA stream. And um, we want to send audio and MIDI. And we'll choose the drop down list local broadcast. Now I also suggest you give it a name because if you actually do this more than once in OBS, it'll be getting the same stream twice. So I'll call this Cubase. And we can close that out. Now, I'll go back to OBS here, 
and I'll add an audio source. Now you may think you might want an audio output capture, but that actually won't work. You need to add an audio input capture and we'll call this audio input capture Cubase. Create new. And you're going to need to choose a device. You don't want to choose your default device if that's your interface. So just choose one that you're not using. I'll just choose this voice meter. If you don't have uh, an input that you're not using, you can add a webcam uh, microphone or something and then add gain plugins and just gain them down. But uh, for this purpose, I'll just use voice meter. It doesn't matter what you use, just choose one that you're not using. Now we have Cubase here in our, in our audio sources. Now I'll choose filters and I'll add RIA stream. VST 2.x plugin, we'll call this RIA stream. I'll select the plugin from the dropdown list We'll open the plugin interface and call this Cubase. Now, when I play the keyboard, it works. And at this point, what I often like to do is not use my mic aux because that takes every single input from my interface. And I don't typically like that. Like if I'm playing guitar or something, what you'll hear is the clean DI signal plus whatever amp. So what I do is I typically monitor myself in Cubase. And that gives me the added advantage of everything that's on the stream, I can hear in my ears. So I have a talkback channel set up here. And I'll turn it on. Now, now you, you can, can hear, hear my voice. voice and, and I'll, I'll disable, disable the, the microphone. microphone so that it's just coming from one source. Um, now this is well and good, but you have to do this for every scene that you have. So I have a few cameras. So I'll have to add the Cubase uh, source to this scene. Great. Great. And, and my, my other, other camera. camera. Okay, now on the three cameras that I'll use for this implementation, we have audio. Hello, hello, and hello. So, uh, one benefit of this is that you get all the processing power of your DAW plugins um, in the screen recorder and you can hear virtual instruments. So I think that, you know, as a music teacher, you may be able to see the power of being able to teach a student scales by showing them something like that. Um, with your software over a uh, application like Zoom. So let's get into how, now that we have the audio uh, from Cubase going into OBS, let's get into how we send the audio from OBS to a video conferencing software. So here in OBS, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need to go to settings and click the output tab and the audio tab, I'm sorry. And we're going to want to change our monitoring device to cable input, VB virtual audio cable. So now we have a cable input. Now we're going to want to monitor the sources that we want to appear on our video conference. So here are our sources down at the bottom. If we want the Cubase audio to be on the, um, on the video conferencing software, we go to Advanced Audit Audio Properties. We see Cubase, we want to monitor and output. So now it's outputting to the video conferencing software. If you also want your desktop audio to feed through, you can monitor and output that. Or if you want your uh, microphone uh, just from your interface to feed through. Uh, if you're using Cubase, I, I would suggest you know, maybe these two, but not also the mic aux because they'll get double audio, if that makes sense. So we're monitoring the Cubase audio and the desktop audio output. 
and that's great. And then the final thing is uh, installing this virtual cam will make it available to you in OBS. So you'll go to tools. Actually, let's fire up a Hangouts real quick so I can show you how this works. If OBS is using your webcam, you won't be able to use your camera. It won't be available to you. But you can use OBS as your webcam by running virtual cam. So here in OBS, we'll go to tools and virtual cam will appear after you install it. And all you have to do is start it. And then in Hangouts, and this is the same for Zoom or Skype, you click on the gear. To, for the video, the OBS camera becomes your video. And for the microphone, um, cable output becomes your microphone. Done and done. And so now you can switch between sources and people will see it on the Hangouts. Now on the screen, so you can see where this would be valuable, um, just to use the power of OBS to more quickly share your screen. So on a Hangouts call or a Skype or a Zoom, people would be getting the audio out of your DAW and you'd be able to use OBS to control your video. So whatever someone sees in OBS, someone will see in Hangouts. Um, so you can switch between cameras, you can have special Okay, folks, so I didn't realize that uh, I didn't have audio set up for this part, but you can have special stuff air on screen. Uh, all the power of OBS is at your fingertips in video conferencing calls on Hangouts, Zoom, or Skype, or whatever you use. So that is how you route sound out of your DAW into OBS, and then from OBS, your screen recorder, into video conferencing software, with a little bonus tip for using your video conferencing software as your webcam. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like and subscribe.